Greetings, my lovely friends. I'm going to explain a key term in research methodology, which is the variable, in order to eliminate the confusion that many students have. Okay, let's start. As a, as a researcher, you're going to perform an experiment. You can say that in your experiment, you're going to do something and then see what happens to other things. That sentence is not very scientific, so we're going to learn new words to replace the, unre the unscientific ones, so we can provide a scientific explanation for what you're going to do in your experiment. First, we're going to define what a variable is. A variable is anything that has a quantity or a quality that varies. Now let's science up the previous statement. You are going to manipulate a variable to see what happens to another variable. It's still not quite right because we didn't differentiate between the variables. Let's look at other terms which will make us which will make our statement more scientific and specific. The dependent variable. It is a variable that a researcher is interested in. The independent variable is the variable believed to affect the dependent variable. So our scientific statement is you are going to manipulate an independent variable to see what happens to the dependent variable. The independent variable influences changes in the dependent variable. Further note, so the independent variable is independent of prior causes that act on it. For example, if we're studying the effects of reading on acquiring vocabulary, in this case, reading is an independent variable because we are not going to study what affects reading, but how reading affects vocabulary acquisition whereas the dependent variable depends on the cause. Don't worry, if you still don't quite get it, we will see a few solved examples to make it more clear. Does social class affect language learning? Let's analyze this. What influences what? The social class influences language learning. Therefore, social class is the independent variable that the dependent variable language learning depends on. Group work enhances students' motivation. What is affected? It is the student's motivation, which is the dependent variable, affected by the group work, which is the independent variable. Now for the third example. Fluency is determined by the amount of oral practice of the target language. As you see in this example, the, the independent variable is not always the first one in the sentence, so you have to think and analyze each time. Fluency is what we are going to test, and it depends on the amount of oral practice. Therefore, the amount of oral practice of the target language is the independent variable, whereas fluency is the dependent one. Hope the examples were clear enough. Now you should be able to do it yourself. Try with the next exercise. The exercise is to tell which the dependent variable and which is the independent variable among these three examples. Leave your answers in the comment below to know if, you're going, if you were right or wrong. Or simply read the correct answers in the description. This is the end of the video. Next one will be about moderating and mediating variables, categorical and continuous ones, and confounding and extraneous variables. Extraneous. If you have any questions or other lessons that you find unclear, feel free to tell me in the comments section. See you in the next time, inshallah. Salam.